My name is John Ironson. I live in Blackpool. It was a Sunday morning, but I got up and I went to the toilet and the toilet basin was absolutely bright red. I rang 111, he said I'll get back to you, it could be any, oh some woman, he says the doctor will talk to you, but it could be anything up to six hours. Anyway, he rang in about an hour and a half or something. And he said you need to get to the A&E straight away. Straight away. I got a taxi and I went and I arrived there and as soon as I went, I took a sample, and as soon as I went to the reception, I said I've been told to come here for, by the 111 to the lady and she says, oh, hang it. she says, I'll get you straight through. And she, she said, I was only there about two minutes. She had me into triage. She says, no, you haven't got to wait in this queue. I'll get you through. They sent for um, the consultant, which happened to be Dr. Roger Kuma. And he, he was in surgery and that, so he couldn't come till after six. And when he come, he said, I want this man straight away into Ward 15A. Like he said there. And the nurses, the sisters and that, had tried like mad to get a catheter in me. But because of the clots, as they were pushing the catheter, there was that much, they told me, there was, Dr. Bezzagoma told me, there was that much pressure, it was pushing the catheter out. They couldn't get it in. So he says, now this is a long journey, John, but he said, it's going to hurt. But he said, are you up for it? I said, yeah, well, I said, it's got to go in, hasn't it? And straight away, they started with drips and whatever they were, you know. And uh, they monitored me overnight. You come the next morning, you're going to have to go into surgery. And then he got the art people to come, the consultant cardiologist, because he, 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 he's a great man, he's an honest man. He said, I, I'm a, he said I'm, I work with the waterworks. He said, I don't know nothing about art. He was worried about the valve completely. He said, I'm going to take you down to have a look. So he took me down first thing in the morning. I said, who will it be who's going to be down there? Like it's in the emergency one it was, the emergency. He said, I'm going to come myself. He said, I'm not letting them touch you without me being there. It was a lot clearer. It wasn't completely clear when I came round and they put the bag still on me again. Uh, but uh, a few days it started clearing up. So he said, right, we'll start with, we're going to start your necker now instead of the warfarin. Right, you'll go back on your warfarin eventually, but we're trying to build you. But as soon as they gave me, I don't know why, he couldn't explain it either. As soon as they gave me the apron, the clots came and I poured. And how many times they had to uh, clean me out, you know, Hoover job. They stick a big needle in, don't they, to get all the clots out. And it hurts like Mary Hell. But uh, you're, you're there, isn't it? and she says, Oh, no wonder you're in such pain, John. Um, clots, clots, clots. And one night I was there, the um, staff nurse was on her way off. And she said, I said, you're going off now, man. He said, I'm not leaving you like that. She said, you know, little things, but they're important things. She said, I'm not going till I've got this sorted here now. And handy over to somebody else. And from there on, <laughs> I thought, oh, Jamie, she's cleared it. That was it. And Sister Rachel, she was always round. And the night staff, oh, and they weren't disturbing me. They were looking in every hour, mind, to see how it was and everything. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've been in a few hospitals, you can see by the medical thing. But none as good as that. Never been in a ward as good as 15A. I'd like to say from Dr. Badger Kuma through to Sister Rachel, through to... That's too many to remember. Through, through to all the day staff, the night staff. So, thank you, because there ain't no word you can give. I think they were absolutely fabulous. I'll say again, if you're watching Sister Rachel, thank you. I owe you one, I really do. Hiya John, nice to see you well and nice to see the feedback that you gave and took the time to give on uh, your stay on 15 air. Just from my point of view, it's, it's really good to see uh, patients giving feedback and a positive feedback and for my team, it's, it gives us a lot of um, morale boost uh, for, for the nursing team. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas John, and a happy new year.